Hey, what's up, guys? World Expo back here, and today, I think this sounds better than it did last video. My my voice last video was kind of fucked, but uh, I'm hoping this sounds better. I moved where my mic was. I had an extension cable. The yeah, the proper cable is still coming in the mail, but hey, for now, this is what we're gonna use until it arrives, since I think it got delayed in shipping. Anyways, with that being said, though, uh, welcome back to Reno Mage, and uh, let's hop right into the first game, right, guys? I'll see y'all there. Well, first matchup is against Priest, so we know how this goes unless we get insanely fucking lucky. And Arcane Keysmith is a way to get insanely fucking lucky. So we should be able to win this if we have like a decent enough draw with double ice block. Notice that I needed a decent enough draw. Drawing this is makes this hand actually awful. Um, the reason why drawing this is so bad is because, again, you just basically always want to hit it off with Lunas. So hitting all these minions right now fucking blows. Hitting the oh, This is fine, but we want to hit, like, you know, the Evolving Mist, Flame Ward, Ice Block, Rigged Games. Like, Rigged Games top deck, called it, is insane. Because there's very, very little way that actually deal damage to us and still generate value for his deck. If he has a slam pen flinger, right, we get to kill it. Um, yeah, so that just happens. I draw four cards here. It's not great, uh, because uh, I drew cheap minions at least. I'm devolving mist, which is actually really fine. Beautiful. Remember, hit double ice block. This matchup becomes significantly easier. It could still be big. That is a possibility. Okay, it's big that card can't hit that card unless it's okay so it is big which means devolving mist is huge you have to save this for most likely a hex and yeah yeah it's it's big here 100 percent because again shadow visions from your deck cannot discover shadow visions if there's not two copies of each card in your deck Hmm. Uh, we can just slam this. Did I, wait, I didn't have to put fuck. I should not have played a card there. We know he doesn't play mill because we know it's big. Uh, any other list plays the Reno package because Kazakus is insane. That's super unfortunate for us. Hmm. This, there's no way this gives me Hex, right? It's gonna give me Death. It's gonna give me Death to kill that. So it gives me Death. Don't want to kill that. Whatsoever. I think this is better. That's fine. That's really good for us, actually. That's 10. So this is like a really clean kill here. Okay, that's fine. Because Bonsamdi and this are both dead cards, theoretically. So, as long as we don't draw Luna's Pocket Galaxy and we draw another spell this turn, or, like, Solarian, I guess. That's really unfortunate for us. Really, really unfortunate. Hitting Reno's really fucking bad here. Perfect. He has to kill one of those off. Remove Flame Ward. Okay, well, this is not going how I want it to go. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Hitting Zola and Reno so far is really fucking unfortunate for us. Get a ping there. That summoned something sadly. Something I really did not want it to summon. This gets me destroy all. Uh, does it? Worse than source we can solve this, is how I see it. I saw this and I thought, uh, Bloodlust, and I thought it gave me lethal. But it does not. I have to go for this. Bad. 
Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. So I was just running through all the possibility of cards he has in his hand. And, uh, yeah. That's super unfortunate, because now if he has a mass res spell, we're kind of cucked. I mean, Alex helps. Hit something low? Fuck. So unfortunate. So, so. I should have slammed this. I should have slammed this. Arguably. He's out. Really no poly? Fuck. It was... Are we just searching for poly? That's fine. It's not good. That was the worst shot on our deck. It was the only draw we could not have actually played here. Oh my god, if we play this, we play so hard into a board wipe. Okay, well. He runs the 8-8 into the 7 he 100% kills this here, because that is always the right play. I need to hit Reno. Now, because I didn't, I missed on Poly on the Kazakus. I was really hoping for just 10 costs with Poly. No matter what, with Poly is fine. Um, that way I could have just Polyed his board, and I still had Reno, which is another Poly on his board. Uh, well, a better Poly. Uh, worse Poly, actually. Poly is huge against Big Priest. Which is very unfortunate. He's also possibly considering letting that go off. He pushes a lot of damage here, right? He pushes 17 damage. I go down to 13. And he has, like... I have no more uh, Kazakus, and that's a card he really doesn't want me to have. So if he does hit here, he also has to run this here. Uh, in case I, like, have Barista or whatever. Or he leaves a game that he... I think he had, like, a 99% chance of winning there. But, you know what? I'll take it. I will take the free win. <laughs> Fuck, at this point we need it. <laughs> this deck is not doing good at that winning thing. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, and we get pack, and we hit gold. You're doing me too good. Um, alright, I'm gonna reroll my Battlegrounds quest, and I'll queue up the next game. Alright guys, I'll see y'all there. Oh, actually. Um, turns out we have achievements, so let's, uh, let's go with those. Mage spells, apparently we did a whole bunch of damage with those. Oh, we can play that one twice. We've played 10 dragons, or 100 dragons. That's really cool. And now, I'm going to reroll my Battlegrounds quest, and I'll see you guys in the next game. Alright, guys, I'll see y'all there. Ooh. Dark Glare Warlock. I honestly forgot what they were called for a second. Um, Ocean is really good. Even Dirty Rat is just too greedy. This hand is actually really fucking good. If I can survive, basically, to be able to pull this off plus this, I should win the game. Imagine if I hit both of these in one potion. How unfair would that be? We're getting Dark Glared, boys. We're getting Dark Glared. Other coins, I can at least slam this a turn early. Ooh, and I have the Zephyrus, which is really nice as well. There's no point in freezing that. He's most likely just tapping here anyways, and I'll just hero power that down. Okay. Well, that's actually a really good play. I'll take the extra one here. That's fine. Next turn, I could freeze whatever he plays, unless it's a dark lair, which I can... Like, right now, the big thing with this is that it threatens that. Although he... Uh, he can still have the soul fire, or whatever, for this. Ooh, he doesn't, though. Means I get free value. If I coin this out, there's no two mana deals. I mean, there's Frostbolt. Can I offer me Frostbolt? Let's see what this offers. Oh, I guess this is the pick. more scared of that personally right now i would i'm more fine with him drawing one card here 
than him having possibly like infinite mana basically by cycling cobalt lackeys and flame imps especially with the hand i have right now this is like fine yeah see he got like no value out of it we can just hero power this this turn and we chill in yeah yeah, yeah. that's perfectly fine again the co control matchup is kind of where we are strong Was it better just to hero power there and then freeze? Possibly. No, we had to kill that anyways. That's not good for us. That's really bad. Thank God we have Mr. Freeze. This card's actually like really good in this deck. It was a card I was considering cutting, but it's one of those cards also that I feel like has so much potential value that like you kind of have to keep it. Did you pay for that too? Jesus Christ. I'm hopefully going to be able to get this trade off. Like, basically, he's not playing enough, so hopefully I can just slam this. Or he has double giant. The double giant draw is really fucking good, huh? Hmm. What's the chance he has another giant in hand? Fairly low, right? Really, game? Really, game? I was hoping to pull, like, the fucking other card he got off this, right? Which could have been, like, a Dark Glare or whatever. I'd been perfectly fine with that. The fact he had three giants in his opener is kind of ridiculous. And he procs block perfectly wait i thought it was oh i wasn't at full health that's why yeah i don't think i lost myself this game i think i actually just got cucked by the fact i pulled possibly the one giant he had or else he slammed the other one yeah that's just very very unfortunate yeah marino doesn't even do anything here Like, basically, the plan was to, like, play Dirty Rat, hopefully pull, like, a 1-1 one -one or something, ping down the 2-1, this way he would have had to hit this into there, or play a spell. This way he would not have been able to proc block, and then slam Reno this turn, he still would not have been able to proc, proc block, then go Bran Reno, but... He apparently just had the perfect hand, where he had both of those as well in his hand, and I missed on that too, so... Oh. I don't know why he's wasting our time. Ugh. That dirty rat was super unfortunate. I guess the better play with them was just Zilliax kill the five five. The thing with Zilliax kill the five five is I still took sixteen, and he just dropped the giant there. Like he'd have been okay, tap giant, and then I would have still lost that game. Dark Lord works is still really strong. Hmm. Anyways, whatever. Let's just skip the next one, alright, guys. I'll see y'all there. Oh, a secret mage. We've played it. We've queued into the three most popular decks so far. Go figure. Um. Yo, actually, the meta right now is like kind of toxic. Ooh, Eater of Secrets is huge. I fucking hate the current meta. In my in my opinion, it's awful. Which is why I want to play more decks like this. If you have any cool meme decks, tell me because I'm just not interested in playing any of the top decks. Like, yes, I really like Rasa Priest, but. Honestly, right now, I think the best decks are just Secret Mage and Dark Lair. And it's just not. Like, I don't care if I just instantly lose those matchups, basically. Perfectly fine instantly losing those matchups. I have, like, fun in the rest of them. And even the Raza Priest one. I'm, like, I'm perfectly fine with that. Which is why I like decks like this. Sure, like, the, again, the win rate is fucking awful, right? Don't, don't get me wrong. The win rate is unexistent. But, um... It's fun, and I think that's just the best thing about this deck. Uh... Hmm. He's most likely slamming a secret here, and since we have a secret here, we can just hit and slam Eater. Or he's slamming a 4-3 and then... Secret, yeah. 
The plan is just to hit Eater. I actually don't even know how Eater works with explosive runes, so this might be terrible. Any more? Okay, so it works how you want it to work, which is really nice to know. That's fine. Is it bad that I'm... If he plays another secret here... I was about to say, my play is 100% just going to be potion... You should trade here. Oh, well, unfortunate. Uh, he should trade there, and if he doesn't, I mean, the play is just gonna be potion. I'm fine with potioning here. I have like really good trades for the rest of his shit. So potion is fine. I kind of want to just eat that secret. Uh, is he not secret fine? I feel like I get more value. That's fine. I'm perfectly fine with that outcome. Still having, um, the one eater in hand is going to be really, really good tempo-wise. And we still have uh, another Jandus. Also, like, they're all one-cost minions. So, depending on what we draw, I mean, we can just pop off a star. Actually, we can't. He has to be careful about playing too many secrets. Because if he plays too many, he just loses. It's clapped. Okay, well. Place the test for... Explosive runes. Oh, it's not explosive runes, which means... Just punch him in the face here. This is the safer play. I don't have Reno yet, so this is the play I'm going with. Once I get Reno, this... Like, if I had Reno in hand, I would have punched him in the face. Because I don't think he would have been able to deal lethal damage. But also, like, he's not about to play anything here. If he does, he's playing more secrets, playing into my... Why are you bowling me now? What if I have Reno? He's just banging at me not having Reno. Up deck Reno one time. One time Reno. Oh, okay, well... The game just wants me to lose, I guess. Reno. Yeah. Because I don't have anything to bounce and I'm going to get Reno. I'm so sad right now. I'm actually so sad that I'm about to lose here. It's gonna be fireball number two. Or else he didn't slam the other fireball. I bet there was no way he slammed fireball if... Are you trolling? Does he actually not have it? How did he... How did he know? Oh, that's fine. Okay. Fuck. Well, fuck me, I guess. I can't believe that just happened. I actually cannot believe that just happened. Hmm. That changes everything. 
Should have tested. The problem with testing with this is I lost my board. The plan here was not to just throw away my board. If I deal 10. I just have to slam this and then do whatever trades I can afterwards. Okay, that could have gone so much worse. I should have actually just killed off that first. Oh. Yeah, and this is a waiting room either till he draws Fireball or I draw Reno. Right now he doesn't have a secret, so he can't Cloud Prince Fireball me. He also can't secret Cloud Prince um, Medis Valet. I should have slammed this to be safe. That was a huge misplay on my part. How much damage is this? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hmm. Okay, so this is a super safe play here. Oh, perfect. I guess Winfrey is lethal. I demon re <laughs> I thought it was just gonna give me healing. Oh, uh, whoops. I completely thought that it was just gonna give me healing, forgetting the fact like, oh yeah, that's true. You offer me basically any form of damage, he's dead. <laughs> Winfrey is damage. See, this deck can beat Secret Mage, easy. Just have him not have perfect hand. Very easy. Just calculate for our forehead. Uh, hey, we're level 45 now. Um, yeah, anyways, let's just hop right into the next one, right, guys? I'll see y'all there. Another, is this the same person? Okay. Well, it's another secret major, and we have this eater again. We have your galaxy. Well, I feel like slamming this card half the time is a huge fucking bait. Is this card just a bait? This tech really coming in handy. This tech comes in handy unless, I was about to say, unless he goes turn one. If The thing is that if he goes turn one secret, right, the lackey into secret, you have to ping him. Like, I have to coin ping. To play around fair games. Like, it's just a necessity. I wanted to become a full fucking Christmas tree and I slammed this. Like, big as fuck you. This contests. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I think their list started to cut dupe. So here I'm hoping he just slams another secret. That's the one he did draw. So I'm hoping like 4 3 into secret. That is the opposite of what I was hoping for, in fact. It was actually the unfair games as well. Lol. I had absolutely cucked. That was like best possible sequence, too. Because he knew I had to ping him to play around the fair games. And then, yeah, that was very unfortunate. Here's the right place to hit with the fourth, is to hero power and slam a secret. Yeah, we just lost. Pretty sure we just lost. I don't have anything and he has a full hand. Unfair games is really unfair when you can summon an extra 4-4 four four because of it. If Blizzard nerfs anything, by the way, I feel like Unfair Games or Conjure are getting nerfed. Just throwing that out there. I feel like this deck is just a little bit too strong. I think it's more strong than Rasa Priest, actually. 
I think Raza Priest is actually really bad right now. Um, no cap. Well, not really bad. It's still like an insane deck. But I still think it's not nearly as good as everybody makes it out to be. Um, I don't know if that's just because I enjoy playing the deck or whatever. But the deck does feel a little weak when you compare it to the power level of all the other decks, in my opinion. Yeah, I absolutely have fuck all. I'm about to draw another three. Okay. But yeah, I, I think Raza Priest is like at the bottom of tier one. I think it's worse than Dark Lair and it's worse than um, Reno Mage. I don't know if it's because of the decks I play uh, when I play against it, but... Or not Reno Mage, uh, <laughs> Secret Mage. Uh, but I, I generally feel like the deck is slightly weaker than people say. It's just not true that it's, like, the best deck in the format. I don't think. I think this deck is. Like, you get so much value out of half the cards that they got. It's, like, the only deck that actually got substantial upgrades. Right? Conjurer's Light, they now have a 4-drop. Uh, they now have a 6-drop that's better than Alunath, who's a 5-5 five, five body that draws you 5 cards. And doesn't continue to draw you into fatigue. Um, So, there, there's, there's a whole bunch of shit like that where... It just doesn't make sense how things are i think i'm still dead here right yeah i'm exactly dead unfortunate there's not much i could have done there if i'm being 100 percent honest his curve was near perfect the only thing that could have been better was to turn one lackey into unfair games this is the only thing that could have been better but besides that his curve was basically perfect with a the best two drop best three drop best four drop that's 5 drop, kind of. Um, I guess Cloud Prince couldn't know. The fair game's procced, because that's the best 3 drop. Anyways. Um, yeah, we have things here, right? I think we still have actually time for- Ooh, 300 gold, Jesus. And we got the hero portrait. Hey, we're finally going for the coin. Beautiful. Um, you know what, fuck it, we'll play one more. I'm, I'm down to play one more. Finally a deck that's not one of the three best decks of the game. I fucking hate this card. I've, I'm actually contemplated removing this card again. Um, Yeah, I, I genuinely think it's awful. If you guys watched last video, you'd see why I think it's awful. Fuck. Dragon Queen is such a bad card to have in your opener. It's actually so fucking bad. Oh, it's Resident Sleeper. That's cool. I feel like we can beat this deck. Possibly. Um, depending what he does. Hopefully Reno can outvalue what's-his-face. And we just have to remember to try and pull Silas so we can't just slam this. I feel like he is playing the combo. In the late game when he has very few cards in his deck, we just slam Lothev first. This way he can't pull off the combo, and then we slam Dirty Rat. In what world do you just slam Bran? You got the one one drop that I couldn't kill. Fuck me. I'm surprised they've yet to pr or sorry zero drop. I'm surprised they've yet to print a zero drop with a big body, but like a big consequence. Like I'm I'm genuinely surprised they've yet to do that. I don't burn a card, which is really nice. Contemplating coin here, but I think it's wrong. I need to try to get like as much value out of all my cards as possible. That cold light was kind of greedy. Oh, he actually had both, so that means I burn a card. Burn sheep, please, one time. Just burn sheep. Not an actual good card. There goes ice block. There's that for us. Also, such a bad burn. But at least both cold lights are gone, so we don't know how to play around those now. Uh, yeah. He's in a whirlwind here, blade storm or something to kill two things. Oh, jingle, yeah. Um. That's fine. One shield slam down. If we slam something big here and he doesn't slam it, 
were basically for sure on it being combo. Flaming Mad Scientist there was really wrong. Because we're burning another card. If we pull fair, unfair games or rigged fair games. I don't know why I won't stop calling it unfair games. The coin hero power there makes it not look like it's flame ward. It makes it actually look like I dropped ice block or unfair games. So it's hopefully preventing him from just killing this. And now also because he did that, uh, even if it is unfair games that I get, uh, if he was able to kill this there, it wouldn't trigger because I took three, which is really big. I was really hoping for, what's it called? I need to do this. Block is fine. I was really hoping for uh, pocket because pocket there would have been perfectly fine. I'll just slam pocket and trade. I'm drawing cards, I like it, I like it. I actually don't even want to play rigged games here. Hmm. You can't play spells this turn. He has to trade into Lothab or trade into Bren, and I'm fine with losing Bren over Lothab here. Because I get a slam Kazakus potion. Uh, Kazakus Dirty Rat potion. I actually can't do that. I'm. It's going to be Dirty Rat potion, especially after saying that. Or actually, that. Uh, unfortunate. That most likely is going to be trained. It's going to be hit, hit. So that way, this is in range for Cloud Prince next turn. Is the reason we do that? The reason we did this other play is because, again, we want these just cheap. It helps us play them later on. And he can't kill us this turn. Also, we have Ice Block up. Ice Block makes it really hard for this deck to win, especially if it is combo. And without the... He should have just hit. Uh, Yeah, he should have just hit. I wasn't able to burn him cards. He should have just hit. But that trade would have been identical. He just threw away a Blade Storm. Oh, it's this, this. Yeah. Okay, well, depending on what he does here, we slam Dragon Queen. Actually, like, the thing is, I do want to get more value out of Dragon Queen is the big thing. Like, it's, like, really important for me to get a lot of value out of every single card. You have to just now remember to just... Oh, so he's trying to pull off the combo next turn. Good to know. Yeah, that gets us some amount of value. Where the fuck... This game is going to be so hard to win without ever drawing Pocket Galaxy. I never knew she said anything when you did that. Interesting. I was actually kind of hoping to get this back. Not only because I want to keep the 4-4 alive, but just because this card would be insane to get back. But it's going to be hit, hit, and uh, rinse him. Ooh, Reno. I'm not planning on drawing cards anymore. This is my matchup. I'm going to just slam this here. Again, I'm also still sitting on the ice block, which is huge. The only way I think I lose this is to... What's her face? Luna's the worst one to survive. Actually, the worst fucking one to survive. Okay, fine. I'm perfectly fine with that forcing a spell. Um, Yeah, this, this is fine. Or I can just slam this. 
He doesn't really have minions, so this is fine, I think. I would have preferred if he had minions, but I'm not going to complain just to be able to slam this. You know, it might... I don't know. Unseal portal to plate breaker. Or it overloads me, because... Fuck me. Arena's really nice. Wait, okay. I thought I burned a card. I'm like, fuck. I still have Solarian and Barista in my deck. Well, that's fine. It's funny, this card's actually unplayable basically for the rest of the game. It's gonna be so hard to get any amount of value out of any of my cards. That's fine. I'm basically just slow roll the stuff I have. Hopefully this kills us. Thank god that says a friendly minion I was about to fucking flip out. Oh shoot, I'm overloaded because I got cucked. Hmm. What's the chance that he's just holding Silas? Oh. There's a thing. I mean, he was probably holding exactly two minions, which was this and Silas, and he was just trying to find the other shield slam. Okay. And he's, I think he's out of removal, besides maybe a Dynomatic and boom. There's boom. That's fine. That's fine. Use your hero power. Give me two more random legendaries, please. Beardo is useless. Marin is really nice. Yeah, so he is 100% playing the Silas build. Oh, okay. I mean, that's that's fine. I'll hopefully get a good fantastic treasure. And so I also don't need to hold on to this, which is nice. If it was a chorus, he would be playing something yeah, that into chorus, killing this, is my guess. It's actually really good that it puts an extra card in my deck. That's unlucky. Press. Well, okay. I'll take another I'll take a random dragon here. <laughs> yes, Kaldara Drake. Let me just flower in this one. Let's just throw this away. B Beardo is actually fucking awful. Imagine if you had Kaldara Drake plus this, it just basically went until someone died. That'd be funny. Make me laugh a lot. By the way, I just looked over at my can. I hope y'all have a drink. I got me a carbonated water. This is gonna be another long ass video. We've done like back to back long ass videos. Okay, it's like the long ass videos. That's fine. Right, he left us alive, which is what I wanted. I swear, Reno is trying to grief me. Reno is fucking trying to grief me. Again, this card is now useless, which is fu always fun. So if I played Barista right now, it gives me two cards. Uh, I actually kind of want to save it for... Oh, I can't even save it for Reno. Oh. Um. Hmm. Let me eventually kill him, right? Yeah. I have, the thing is I also have a, like an instant board, which is why I'm saving this. Like I want him to wipe my board and then I'm gonna slam this and it's an instant board. I also still have Solarian Prime, which is coming up. And now he's also one card deeper in his deck than me. 
which is really nice because this shuffles back into my deck which is huge actually that's fine i don't even care about this honestly like this card's like a meh to me i don't need any of the cards really that's unfortunate that's the one i want to see the least oh that card's actually fucking terrible I need to make room in my hand because I'm going to just generate so many random cards through like Zola and Barista and whatever. It's funny, the galaxy actually does nothing. It's a hot load of garbage. Yeah, it's really unfortunate that he gets to kill that for free. Maybe I shouldn't have played the Eater. Okay. Eventually he's going to wipe this. I guess I'm hoping to get uh, what is, what is it? The... Can you stop oranging armor, please? One time. Of course I missed on all the 1-1s. One would have thought I would have actually hit a 1-1. One -one. Ugh. He's gonna eventually wipe my board. Or he's gonna play something I'm just gonna trade into it. But again... So many Renos is going to be super safe. That's fine. Oh, hopefully I draw Zilliax here. Drawing Zilliax here would be actually ginormous. Of course not. This card's actually useless. I have two dead cards in my hand, law. Um, actually, can you use Gobbit plus Ysera? That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Yes. Is it too greedy to hold on to both of these? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a little bit too greedy to hold on to both. Those died, which is good for me. Me, Hellbender. Well, that did absolutely fucking nothing. Sick. This gave me a piece of removal, which is huge. All right, he has seven cards or five cards to kill me, unless he's playing both combo and and we know Silas is one of them. He's, oh, I should have played fuck. Okay, good. He fucked up. That's big for me. So I think I just go... That's not what he rng Interesting. Uh... I'm only gonna get one spell off this. That's perfectly fine with me. I give everything uh ten armor. Res. The res is huge again. So like we have one board here, we have two boards here, and we have a board here, and we still have this. For double Reno. That's fine. I saw this here. Hopefully the double Reno is going to be good enough to win. It is a shitload. Actually, I might die to fatigue, but also Ysera can help so much with that. I think what I get... Savannah High Mage is huge. Such a big boy. I like the fact that Savannah, like, sure, Rays in this was awful, Rays in this was awful. When I have, like, Dragon Queen that's dead, Cindric Gosa. Yeah, wipe my board. I know you want to. You can deal two to my board, three to my board. That's fine. I'm gonna play the card that creates a board by itself. Boom. Play the other one.
Interesting play. Hmm. Of course you hit- bro, he's hit like the best one every single time. That's fine. Well, now we're playing the game, are my dragons good or are my dragons bad? It's a fun game I like to play. Okay, well. I need to wipe my board. That's fine. That's fine. He leaves the 1-1 alive. It's gonna be hit, hit, hit with the tokens. If he leaves, that's up. That's Actually, no, it removes a uh, thing, but it allows me to kill the 7-4, which is really nice. I got five random dragons here. That is actually really unlucky for me. Because now I can't kill this off. Oh, well, killed our Drake. Good meme. Op. Double op, okay. I did not know those worked that way. I thought it just burnt one, honestly. Uh, I could just hit that there. That there. Alright. The big thing is... Oh, I should not have actually hit there. Uh, there's not that kills that, and then he just trades into the Reno. Interesting, okay. I'm just trying to think of what I want to target with this, and I think the answer is Nefarian or this. These are trying to kill as much of this shit as possible because it's so much damage to looking at him in the face. This is going to be a 6-2? No, it's going to be a 2-6. That's fine-ish. Alright, what does my hero power give me? Oh my god, he hits delivery drone again. Counts this. Oh, that's actually huge. Oh, I fucked that trade up. Let's not tell let's not show that yet. We can hold on to it. Does this work how I want it to work with this, or no? 16, 16 plus 5. 16 plus 5 is 21 plus 7. I'm 2 damage off. Fuck. How much did I take? Five. Means I'm taking six. I really want more value here, so we're gonna see something that's in his deck. That's the most value. Generate a board. So this takes five of those away. Three of those away. He does that first, then he hits, 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 sack triggers. But the big thing is he can't he can kill this, I guess. But then that's still eight. He can kill these two. That hits there. Yeah, so he kills these two. Because or else it's lethal. This is in the wrong mode. 
Oh, it takes six. That means this is six damage now instead. Right? Yeah, okay, so that's active. It's big. Yeah, that's lethal for sure, right? Six. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, that was such a close game. Actually one of the closest games I've played in a long ass time. That was an intense game too. I fucking love that game. That was a really good game. It's a really good game to show like this deck can actually contest the late game against a deck that's made to go late. He has both... I didn't think you'd be playing Archivist because... Normally if you're running the Silas combo you don't play Archivist. You play a shitload of draw so you can like draw an armor gain. So you can just slam the Archivist, or you can slam the Silas combo. But he wasn't playing it, which is very, very interesting in my opinion. Or sorry, he was playing it, plus the combo, plus boom. So that's very, very interesting in my opinion. I don't think his list is that great. My guess is the last card in his hand. No, it would not have been a Dynomatic. We saw every single card in his deck. Interesting. Running one Dynomatic. I don't like that. I think Dynomatic's like a really, really good card. I also don't like his brand play. His brand play where he just ran out of the start was like super wrong in my opinion. Anyways. Huh. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> if you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Rep the gang. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright guys. Peace.